climbing test, man. I could climb this too, but. I wonder if I could jump and get that big one. This one? Yeah. Try it. No, I don't think I can jump that high. Maybe in three hours. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Come on, you gotta get up there. No. Don't bust your balls now. Come on, Tax Man, you could do it. Wait, I have to. See, he's, he's tired too. That's not peak performance. I need to get like. You mean like the oil? Yeah. Just put your knee up there, push up. Grab that one right there and push yourself up. There you go. See? <laughs> might, might you mind the shoes that I'm wearing? Doesn't I'm matter. Not climbing shoes. Don't matter. Just go. Come on. You could do it. Hold on. There you go. Adjust myself. Where's he going? He's like the Kent State squirrel. Can we throw sticks at him? No. Look, this one's pointing. What? <laughs> Don't. Alright, I'm coming down. No, just go up a little bit more. Dude, you can get all the way up there if you try. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to. I'm not even going to say anything. There's a 3 Series Alex's car, an S4 out here. Cool. And the M5. Classes are done for today. Today was actually really, really productive. Got a lot of stuff done. Now I'm going to go home, do one more class, get something to eat, and then go get my 5S, which, as far as I know, has not let yet delivered. Remember that E46 M3 I saw that's not actually an M3, but a 330? There it is. I'm going to wave to him, so I'll put the camera over. Yep, he waved. Big smile. I love it. I love the community. Alright, it's 1.54. I'm like 10 minutes later than I usually am today, so i got to get home. Okay guys, class is officially done. I have no confirmation of 5S delivery at the moment. However, my case arrived yesterday to his house at uh, 318. So I'm guessing that uh, UPS would be uh, fairly consistent uh, within their deliveries. It says on vehicle for delivery today. It has since 825 this morning. It's 323, so I'm just gonna head down there. I got class done. There's that, no, that's an E90. Oh, wow, okay, it looks exactly like that F30 in that blue we see all the time. It looks really nice. Hey, uh, I want to talk BMW here for a second. You know, I never I never talk about cars, let alone BMW. Um, so the current 4-door 3 series is the F30, right? So the M3 should be the F30 M3. So why do I get a letter, or newsletter yesterday, email, from uh, Roundell, which is BMW CCA, talking about the F80 M3. And I'm thinking, F80? What is that? The 4 Series isn't, that's, that has nothing to do with the M3, but I'm not aware of an F80 chassis. So why is the 4-door M3 not sharing the chassis with the 4-door 335 or 328 or 320? Did they misprint that? Or why is the F30 M3 the F80? Anybody know? Let me know. I'd like to know. It's weird without power steering. Well, yeah, there was just a train, so now the train is over, so it's time to get power back. Okay, I'm just approaching um, Silver Lake here. Actually, we're in Silver Lake. We're on my grandparents' street. Coming down the street in first gear like a dick. Hang on, that's probably noisy for people outside. Okay, here we go. So, um, I don't know if it's here not here yet or not. I didn't get any texting, any texts from UPS, and I signed up for that last week. So, probably not, but that's all right. I'll hang out for a little bit. I got 95% of my work done today, so that's good news. Um, you will see Elvis requested the little uh, unboxing on vlog, so we'll do that of both the phone and the case. So stay tuned here in the next few minutes. Looks like he mowed his yard. It's looking nice. And he's actually not out on the porch. Usually when he has something to, to wait for and expect, that becomes his day. So I guess she's keeping him busy inside, scrubbing the floor. There's the case. Where'd the box go? And there's the box. You can have that. Okay. You can have the bill too if you want it. 
This no, this this wasn't too expensive. What is this? Is this, uh, this is the case. That's the case. a black leather case. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful box. Sixty-four space gray. So we'll get our first look. It is indeed black. And as expected, it feels exactly like the other one. Good morning. We're home now. We went and had dinner at Bob Evans. I finished setting up my phone. Um, got everything done on it. I, I took an interesting approach to copying all of my data back on it. Set up as a new device. I didn't want to restore corrupted old cache files and waste 10 gigs of my message data. So I backed all that up to a spreadsheet. I have, oh, it's like 1.2 million lines of chat transcript from the past six months. So that's on my Mac somewhere in a 40 megabyte RTF file, rich text, that takes six gigabytes of RAM to open. Good thing I have 16. So, um, yeah, restoring. I did one application, or one folder's worth of applications at a time. If I can find my five. I think it's hiding in the couch. There it is. There it is. I'll take my five. So I would start off with... Um, like the social folder. Copy all those apps, put them in a folder and call it social, and then go through each application and log in. Log into my three Twitter accounts, my Facebook, my Skype, Instagram, Tumblr, Foursquare, Vine, Snapchat, Google+, LinkedIn, and Formspring. Log into all of that crap, because usually when I set up a phone for the next two weeks, every time I open, location, open an application, it's like, hi, what's your name? Sign up. What's your name? No. I have an account and I'm going to sign into it. So now the 5S is beautifully set up for everything I want it to do. So we'll log in there with fingerprint access, which works really well. And if I go into my Vine, then which I never use, by the way, here's my Vine. Everything's there. Everything's set up the way I want it to be. Now, impressions of the 5S versus the 5. It's definitely faster. Now, that could be because that's a fresh build of the OS versus this one. Has not been rebuilt since um, May and it's been used a lot since May. Um, so fresh build of the OS, it's better processor, you know, stuff like that, 64-bit architecture, but I do think that this device is definitely more powerful. If we go into photos, I did a Geekbench for those of you who care. Um, Geekbench 3, yeah, bought the app, and there they are. The iPhone 5 on the right was a 1286, a 2426, nearly double the score on the 5S, which is really cool. Um, so I definitely noticed a difference with that. Yeah, the camera low light is definitely better. The better lens aperture. Look at that. That's what the iPhone sees. That's what the flip sees. Look at that. It's like daylight, nighttime. It's way better. So maybe I'll do some recording on this tomorrow. Yeah, there's slow-mo, which the frame rate's really fast. I mean, you can easily tell on the preview. Um, it focuses quicker. I've noticed that, and it focuses really well. So that's an improvement fingerprint reader we talked about. Uh, I have the black leather case on right now, uh, which I like the look of. It actually doesn't add much bulk. It feels really good. Um, probably leave that on for a while, but I'm sure it will come off as I usually don't like cases on phones. But just to protect it for a little bit, if I ever, when I travel going through airports and security and stuff, it'd be nice to have a case on there. Also, battery life seems better. I've used like 10% in the last four hours versus 60% in the last four hours. So hopefully that's um, improved. Anyways, that's it. I studied for an exam about the Emancipation Constipation Proclamation. That'll be tomorrow. We'll get that out of the way. And uh, that's going to be it for the week. Then we're off for the weekend. Awesome. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday.